which robot you would like to modify, or select an empty slot to start building a new robot. Right. Your robot now has all the components necessary for entering a competition. If you like, you can use your remaining money and weight allowance to add weapons, armor and extras. Your robot is now classed as heavyweight. Hi there. First you will need a body before you can begin adding other components. Parts are quite expensive here, but you can find cheaper parts in the scrapyard if you're on a tight budget. Okay. Unseeded this robot, but showing a lot of potential. It's a lightweight robot. This is a high wedge shape robot, very popular shape, allowing them to drive under other robots. This is the sixth seed, could be one to watch out for. It's a heavyweight robot. It's shaped like a kind of domed wedge, powered by a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery. Definitely in with a chance of surprising everyone, this robot unseeded today. It's a heavyweight category robot. It's a wedge-shaped robot, a very popular shape, allowing them to drive in under other robots. They better mind the arena wall flame as they can be very, very dangerous. The arena flipper comes into play when a robot's immobilized. A bit of extra insult to injury to be flipped around the arena. That's the pit. Don't want to be going in there too soon. They've got to look out for the blasts of fire from those flame grills. They can do a surprising amount of damage. You don't want to get too close to the corner patrol zones. Once you're in there, it's more pain than you can handle. Three, two, one. Activate. I think the sergeant wants a taste of metal. That flipper's ready and waiting, ready and waiting for its first victim. The steel armor giving it some defense against the attack. Not too difficult to cut into the Kevlar armor with the right weapon. The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. Can the aluminium armor stand up to this? The Kevlar taking a battering but holding up. The steel armor giving it some protection from the impact. Trying hard to cut through the Kevlar. Tough steel armor, making it harder to cut into, of course. The aluminium shell, very flimsy protection against this onslaught. Not too hard to cut into the aluminium, but it's putting up a brave fight. Bashing away at the Kevlar, but it's ideal to resist it. The armor holding out well against the charge. My word, there's bits of robot all over the arena. The flywheel has flown away. It'll be doing... He'll be doing no more damage today! <laughs> it's finding it hard to stand up to the slicing with just the aluminium armor. I'm not sure how long the aluminium armor can hold up against this sort of impact. The steel taking the punishment well so far. The chainsaw moves in! Not too, not too difficult to cut into the Kevlar armor with the right weapon. Can the aluminium armor stand up to this? The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. The sword blade is shattered! It's not much use now! It's carnage! Devastation! It's Robot Wars! The steel armor giving it some protection from the impact. The Kevlar armor giving it great protection though. The steel armor giving it some defense against the attack. Wouldn't you like to be cleaning the debris from the arena later on? Easy to punch through that aluminium armor with enough aggression behind it. The armor holding out well against the charge. The aluminium shell, very flimsy protection against this protection against this onslaught. The chainsaw's been snapped off! Not too hard to cut into the aluminium, but it's putting up a brave fight. Bits and pieces everywhere. You could melt them down, I suppose, and make a whole new robot out of them. And in it goes! A lot of weight behind this robot. I'm making good use of it to cause damage to cause damage. Cease! Thank you. 
This is our third seed, has a good chance of taking home the title. It's a heavyweight contender, a slightly unusual domed wedge shape to this robot. That's interesting. Unseeded in this competition, but could have a few surprises up its sleeve. It's a lightweight category robot. This wedge shape, very popular among our roboteers, gives them the advantage of being able to get in underneath and tip opponents, of course. Unseeded this time, but no slouch. This robot could do well. It's a lightweight contender. It's shaped like a kind of domed wedge. It's a heavyweight competitor. It's a wedge-shaped robot, a very popular shape, allowing them to drive in under other robots. The Van de Graaff balls are a fun touch. Powered by a 12-volt sealed lead-acid battery. Armoured in light aluminium, it's armed with a powerful pneumatic pickaxe. It's armed with a large electric hammer, weighty enough to give most robots a heavy battering. This robot, unseeded, but could do better than everyone expects today. It's a lightweight competitor. This wedge shape, very popular among our roboteers, gives them the advantage of being able to get in underneath, in underneath, and tip opponents, of course. Three, two, one, activate! Nearly onto the flame grill, look out! The titanium covered body doing its best to deflect the aggressive attack. Onto the arena flipper they go! Are they ready to fly? The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. The cutting attack doing its best to get through the bulletproof glass. Hard to make an impression on the polycarbonate, it's very tough. Metal everywhere! And the crowd love it. The aluminium shell, very flimsy protection against this onslaught. They can't light themselves. Something's wrong. It looks like they're out of the contest. Buzzing closer. The chainsaw looking for opportunity to see some action. Give us some action. Trying to cut its way through the polycarbonate. It's finding it hard to stand up to the slicing with just the aluminium armor. The axe has been broken off. No more use out of that then. The armor holding out well against the charge. Stabbing away with a spike. The jaws looming up on it must look ferocious. This is what Robot Wars is all about. Carnage. The polycarbonate, not such good defense against cutting attacks. That flipper's ready and waiting for its first victim. And the flipper springs into action, throwing the robot into the air. And it lands with a crash. My word, there's bits of robot all over the arena. Hard to make an impression on the polycarbonate, it's very tough. The aluminium shell, very flimsy protection against this onslaught. Not too hard to cut into the aluminium, but it's putting up a brave fight. Tough steel armor, making it harder to cut into, harder to cut into, of course. The steel armor giving it some protection from the impact, and it's gonna be tough getting through the bulletproof glass on there. The titanium, tough to pierce, of course. Oh, they want more. Hey, I think they're dead already. Go on, leave them alone. It's finding it hard to stand up to the slicing with just the aluminium armor. That won't lift anything anymore. The armor, the armor holding out well against the charge, against the charge. Not easy to smash through that polycarbonate shell. The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. The steel resisting the blade so far. The polycarbonate, not such good defense against the cutting attacks. Thudding into contact with the blade and starting to make it count. The steel taking the punishment well so far. Onto the arena flipper they go. Are they ready to fly? Hard to make an impression on the polycarbonate, it's very tough. The aluminium shell, very flimsy protection against this onslaught. The cutting attack, doing its best to get through the bulletproof glass. The titanium armor, not as effective against that impact as they'd like. Bits and pieces everywhere. You can melt them down, I suppose, and make a whole new robot out of them. And it's going to be tough getting through the bulletproof glass on there. Off comes the spike! They're going to have to try another tactic now! Metal everywhere! And the crowd love it. Trying to cut its way through the polycarbonate. The titanium standing up for now. How long will it hold out? On a direct collision course! The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. Not easy to smash through that polycarbonate shell. This shell, this has all the makings. Cease! In the end, only one robot can survive the Annihilator and be crowned champion.